a super project moves forward in our community. I'm Chantal Belafonte, your neighborhood reporter in Hillsboro, and I talked to the city manager about progress on plans to build what's being called a super ditch. Nearly all of us drove by and saw the flooding when, when they're, you know, uh, driveways are disappearing and it's coming in their head. And I just thought to myself, I would not, I, I can't imagine what it would be like to buy a new home and it flood within a few months. Interim Mayor Leanna Richmond is talking about the story I brought to you last week when I spent all day in Hillsboro talking to neighbors worried about their homes being flooded. It was coming through the baseboards, uh, through my grandson's closet. Uh, it was also in the um, living area. On Tuesday, City Council moved forward on a project designed to help keep this from happening in the future. Council Member Lloyd? Aye. Council Member Robinson? Aye. Council Member Zarati? Aye. Council Member Jolly? Aye. Representatives unanimously approved a more than $300,000 bid to build a super ditch to help with flood control in our neighborhoods. While that work begins, I sat down with city manager Megan Henderson to find out why the city allowed houses to be built in flood prone areas. The city inspects um, the elevation and drainage in areas that are the developers um, assured us that the plan would be followed and that you know at that point we had already done a lot more than we would ordinarily do and and considered that that was you know due diligence on our part she tells me moving forward with this project is the right thing to do we've done what we think is the responsible thing to do and i can look those homeowners in the eye and say you're not going through this alone